Hey yo, what's good everybody? It's a boy Andrew here, back with another video, and today we're gonna be seeing who's the GOAT. Michael Jordan or LeBron James, guys. So I hope y'all enjoy this video. Make sure y'all leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, guys, and share this video and all my other videos on my channel with everyone you know. So guys, and also consider supporting my Patreon, which will be down below in the description, guys. And then if you haven't seen the other episodes, go check those ones out first before you check out this one. This is episode six, guys, of Who's the Goat, guys. And we're gonna have it so this one's the Cavaliers of LeBron, and LeBron's gonna be on the Ringers, and Michael Jordan's gonna be on the Ballers, guys. A quick message for me before we start this commentary on seeing who's the goat. Sorry to interrupt the video, guys, but did you guys know that 83% of you guys are not subscribed? 83% of you guys, like, if y'all just hit that subscribe button, because, like, it's free, guys, so, like, just might as well subscribe, right? So, like, only 17% of you guys are subscribed, like, so, it, make sure to leave a like on this video, also, subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, and share my channel in my videos to everyone you know, guys. And then, if all y'all just subscribe, like, I could be, like, have, like, way more subscribers than... I could put out better content for you guys if y'all just hit that subscribe button. So it helps my channel grow if y'all just hit that subscribe button, guys. So, sorry to interrupt the video, guys, but back to the video now. Okay, guys, so Michael Jordan has the ball first, on, and he's on the ballers. He drives in, spin move, and then gets an easy layup right there, and he's up 1-0 against LeBron right here. So LeBron has the ball now. LeBron, of course, is just doing the signature this whole entire series, just posting up Jordan. And fakes the fakes that one way and goes and gets another layup that way and then misses and then Jordan has the ball now. Jordan goes over to the right side, just goes around LeBron, gets a contested layup up and misses. Like why does he have to do that animation? Like and then LeBron goes to the right side now, drives in and gets a layup up and misses and gets his own rebound. But that should have been Jordan's rebound, but like 2K is very realistic, so that's why they gave it to LeBron. So Jordan has the ball now, Jordan's going over to the right side. And gets by LeBron and gets blocked by LeBron, but then he gets his own rebound and gets blocked again. And then he dunks on LeBron right there. I guess he was tired of LeBron just blocking him, so he had to dunk on LeBron, you know. So LeBron posting up Jordan from the from the three point line, obviously, because jo LeBron can't really do anything else against Jordan. And he does a step back and gets a green bean right there. And then Jordan has the ball now, so Jordan. On the ballers drives in on LeBron gets a contested layup up should have made it but this game is very realistic and had it so he missed the layup so LeBron is trying to post up Jordan from past the three-point line and fades away and misses it somehow and Jordan gets the rebound and takes it back and then drives in and gets a contested layup up who should have gone in but then missed it and this game still tied 2-2 and LeBron just got by Jordan easily and this is like seems like it's gonna be over because how this game's been going guys like if Jordan's not in the league he's probably gonna lose like in this game that's how it is like if he's like not if LeBron's ahead LeBron's probably gonna win that's how it's been this whole entire series I so I think LeBron will probably win this game this gets 2k is very realistic and LeBron just blocked him right there and gets an easy layup up right there like this game is very realistic guys very realistic like actually the actual goat is actually Jordan but like you know I mean, LeBron's close because he's like he's just chasing it you know he has to get those rings first which he might get one but like he's not gonna get like any more past the one because like he's going up there in age and LeBron misses a contested layup right there and Jordan gets the rebound takes it out to the three-point line and tries to take out LeBron and LeBron's playing good lockdown defense and Jordan missed it somehow because this game is very realistic and he was definitely 100% smothered. LeBron does a crossover and picks up his own. What? What is this game? That should have been a double dribble 2K. Okay, doesn't matter. LeBron didn't make the shot. So Jordan drives in. And I don't know why he didn't drive in again. Like, and he does a, That's 27% covered. How did he miss that 2K? So LeBron goes in. And then just the three behind the backs and gets stolen by Jordan. And they're chasing the ball, and LeBron gets it, but goes out of bounds, so it's now Jordan's ball. 
That was a tactical move by Jordan. Like, that was most smart of Jordan. Jordan has like a high basketball IQ. And then he does it in between the legs and trying to do what he did to that Byron Jones, I think. I don't know his last name. I was like, the Jazz that sent them home in the NBA Finals. I forgot that guy's name. I just remember it was Byron or something. LeBron's posting up Jordan from like the three point line again. Makes the fadeaway and does another one and makes it. So now he's up like 2 points, 5 3. Jordan's ball. And then Jordan is going over to the left side. And LeBron doesn't have his takeover anymore. Jordan drives in, does a spin move, and makes the layup. That could have gone either way, but it should have gone in because it was Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan doesn't really miss too many shots, you know. So LeBron pump fakes and does takes the fadeaway and just takes a contested jumper and misses it. Takes another contested jumper and misses and takes a contested layup up and misses. And Jordan gets the ball now. And Jordan goes over to the right side, gets around LeBron and takes a contested layup. And that should have gone in, but then missed. So LeBron choosing to go to the left side and now lost the ball. Jordan gets the rebound and gets a green bean right there. And now it's tied 5-5. So this is anyone's game actually. Like, I was wrong about maybe LeBron winning. This is actually anyone's game unless LeBron just keeps on doing that. And he just like, ooh, bro. Like, Jordan just acted as if, like, he's in the, from the 20, like, 21st century in basketball, like, where people flop nowadays. And then Jordan tries to do a signature move that should have gone in, but then I don't know why it didn't. And then Jordan, LeBron just got around him and got an easy dunk right there. Now it's 7 5, LeBron. So. Jordan has the ball now, and of course, if y'all didn't know the series, LeBron is winning 3-2 to two right now because LeBron just been doing that post-up against Jordan like every single game because that's the only thing he could do, like right here. That's all he's been doing this whole series. LeBron just keeps on like, posting up Jordan. That's the only reason why LeBron's winning. I wish I could just turn it off so like you can't really like post up anymore so it's like an actual game like you could actually want to watch. And... Jordan keeps on taking these weird layup animations that I don't know why he's doing them. Like, they're not smart. Like, in real life, his basketball IQ is pretty good, and LeBron just dunked on Jordan right there. But then, in this game, like, Michael Jordan's IQ is super bad. Like, it's so low. And then, but, like, that's 2K. Like, they're acting as if, like, he, he's gambling. Like, he, he just gambled the whole night and never got any rest instead of just, like, him gambling until, like, 3 o'clock or 5 o'clock in the morning in here. She got like some rest, you know? And then LeBron takes a fadeaway and misses. Oh, but maybe the reason I Jordan wants to lose the series is because he gambled on LeBron winning, maybe. So he could win some money, you know? And Jordan dunks over LeBron right there. And now it's 8 7. LeBron. LeBron's winning right now by one point. So LeBron has the ball now. And then Jordan's been going to Vegas too much. And LeBron is just like takes a step back and misses and Jordan has his takeover now. Jordan takes his out, takes the ball out to the three point line, goes over to the right side, takes the shot and then gets a contested layup up and makes it even though it says it's not contested. I'm pretty sure that was contested because I mean that was like that was good defense on LeBron for LeBron. It's just that the thing is Jordan just the best player of all time. That's why he could make it. So Jordan getting by LeBron right there and gets a contested layup up that should have gone in and then misses and he missed another one and with this takeover somehow. Uh, LeBron has the ball now. Starting to post up Jordan from the three point line. Of course, and then gets a fadeaway up and makes it, even though that was very contested contested. It said it was two percent contested. That's closer to two hundred percent contested than just two percent. And then Jordan dunks on LeBron right there. And now it's still tied 9-9. This is anyone's game right here. This game's really close right now. So LeBron is just like posting up Jordan, obviously, because that's the only thing he can do. And he gets a green bean on that step back. Like, and then Jordan gets by LeBron easily and dunks it, but then missed the dunk. And LeBron gets it rebound and makes it. And now they both have their takeover. LeBron's is more full than Jordan's. So Jordan pump fakes, spin move, 
and then gets blocked by Jordan and LeBron, and it's out of bounds, but it's still Jordan's ball. LeBron's up by two points now, and then it's Jordan's ball. Jordan should have made that dunk, but then the Stuke had him do a stupid dunk animation and got blocked by LeBron. And then Jordan gets by LeBron right there, gets a layup up, and makes the layup 100% smothered. LeBron's ball, LeBron only up by one now. And then LeBron goes over to the right side, starts posting up from the three point line again, even though Jordan, and then does a drop step and makes the drop step layup right there. And now it's up by two points. Jordan going over to the left side gets by LeBron easily and missed the dunk somehow. And then LeBron just got an easy dunk right there. How did that not even hit rim? How did he miss the dunk and it didn't even hit rim? This is Jordan. You're talking. How did he miss the whole entire rim itself, like in general, or like the basket when he dunked that? Like, 2K, this game is too realistic. And LeBron has the ball. Picks it up to the three point line. Gets stolen, almost got stolen by Jordan. LeBron gets by easily. Just went through Jordan and gets an easy layup up right there because he just went right through him. So Jordan has the ball now. Jordan goes. Trying to post up LeBron, but doesn't realize that LeBron is actually bigger than him. And then fades away and misses because it's a very re light release, but Jordan would never do that, like miss that shot. And LeBron, of course, posting up from the three point line again, hop steps, gives a contested life up and misses, and Jordan gets the rebound. LeBron's takeover running out, and then Jordan fakes going to the right side, goes over to the left side. And then tries to go over to the left side again, goes in between the legs, and then gets each contested layup up and misses. And LeBron has the ball now. LeBron just drove right past Jordan really easily, and now is up by five points. So yeah, I think LeBron has this now in the bad guys. Unless Jordan can come back, which he can't come back because even though he's usually not really down, he gets a green bean right there. Jordan's usually not down in the end games. So, but like that's that's not, so that's why he probably doesn't know how to like really come back because you know he's just too good he doesn't have to have it come back jordan gets three back goes out to the three-point line and then gets around lebron easily and dunks it all over lebron even though lebron was behind him lebron tried to dunk that so i'm still counting that as a dunk on you know but like he didn't catch a body though that's the thing LeBron posting up Jordan from the three point line again and drop steps and then gets an easy layup up right there. Because LeBron's just acting like a center on like a point guard when he's playing offense. Jordan fakes the spin and gets, but missed the layup. That should have been easy right then. Yeah. And now it's LeBron's ball. LeBron goes over to the left, right side, nutmegs Jordan and gets a contested layup up and makes it. Even though it says wide open, this game is very realistic. You know, Jordan goes over to the left side, starts trying to get by LeBron, pump fakes, and shouldn't have picked up his dribble because he missed a like a hook shot. And now it's LeBron's ball. LeBron just drives in easily on Jordan right here, and gets a consistent layup up and makes it right there. And Jordan's ball, LeBron up 18 to 12, so he's up by six. Y'all can't do math. And LeBron has a shoot, fouls Jordan right there, and now it's Jordan's ball still. So Jordan has a good by LeBron. Can't really, does a spin move and does, but somehow missed a layup, even though he should have made that. But you're talking about Jordan missing that layup. And LeBron misses that layup, and LeBron gets his own rebound and makes it. Like every time, like LeBron, like when, every time he's on offense, he's probably going to score on Jordan because Jordan's like, Smaller than him when he goes drives in. Jordan gets a contested dunk right there and makes it. And now it's LeBron's ball. LeBron's up by six. And then Jordan tries to steal the ball, but LeBron got it back. And LeBron, of course, posting up from like near half court. Like that's the that's the stuff we've been dealing with all series long. And LeBron misses the layup, and then Jordan gets the rebound. Can we see comeback from Jordan right here? And fades away, gets blocked somehow. And LeBron gets an easy dunk up right there because he didn't have to take it back out to the three point line. So Jordan's ball now. Jordan down by seven. Let's see a comeback, Jordan. We know you can do it. So Jordan goes over to 
past LeBron and takes a hook shot and misses it. What is he doing? And he just had a stupid putback animation. And LeBron's gonna post up and get, and get blocked. Should have been blocked. And then gets a green bean right there that should have been blocked also, guys. So LeBron has won the series now. So 2K thinks LeBron and the Cavaliers is the GOAT. So make sure, I hope you all enjoy this video. Subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, guys. And share this video with everyone you know and all my other videos in my channel. And consider like s subscribing because it's free, guys. So might as well just do it, right? And then consider supporting my Patreon, which will be down below in the description, guys. And leave a like. And then stay safe out there, guys. And peace out. And love is love, and hate is hate. To die is an awesome adventure, and I can hardly wait. Earth is a prison, I need a great escape. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space.